On April 16th, 2020, Improvement received an email that changed the very fiber of the organization forever. This is a dramatization of the events that followed. The interaction between Secretary Jack Ruthier and the supposed Dr. Patricia Wilson. Dear Sir, this is Dr. Patricia Wilson writing from Houston, Texas, United State of America. I am a contractor under World Health Organization. Who? Please, am interested in your relationship. Kindly get back to me if you are interested in me, so that I will tell you more about my humble self. Thanks, and remain blessed till I hear from you. Dr. Patricia. Uh, hmm. Dearest Dr. Patricia, I am, in fact, also interested in your relationship and am writing back to hear more about your humble self. Thank you so much for reaching out. I cannot wait to hear more about you. Thanks and remain blessed, Jackson. Okay, well, that ought to keep her busy for a little bit. Son of a- Hello, Mr. Jackson. My name is Patricia Wilson. I am 49 years old. I am a widow. I lost my husband five years ago on plane crash. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. We had three children, but I lost two of them in motor accident. I thank God for my last born, whose name is Paul. I like to sing, write poems, listening to music and dancing to the beat, swimming, playing basketball, going to gym and comedies. I love public intimacy and want a good man with a good heart, one with good knowledge about love and who knows how a woman has been treated. A man who really understands the meaning of love. Please. I want you to understand that no distance of place or extinction time can reduce the friendship of those who are thoroughly persuaded of each other worth. Remain blessed, Dr. Patricia. Dear Patricia, I am surprised by how quickly you responded to that email. Was that whole message pre-written in your notes or something the whole time? I don't see how you could have typed that so quickly, although it might account for some of the grammar issues. I am concerned that I might not be all that you are looking for in a man. As I am only 22, I cannot be sure that I, quote, really understand the meaning of love or how a woman is been treated. However, I am grateful for the opportunity to look forward to hearing from you more in the future. Thanks and remain blessed, Jackson. I can see you the father of my five pet skunks. Any age is right age. You look like Randy Newman in my dream. Will you be my forever? The eyes are the portholes to the soul. I hope you are continuing to play piano. Remain blessed, Patricia. P.S. Tell your brother Ben I wish him good luck on the AP statistics test. Wilson, I began this chain of emails under the assumption that you were nothing but a spam bot after my credit card information. I realize now that you've been stalking me. Don't email me anymore. Blocked, Jackson. Mr. Jackson, 
Even though I am contractor at World Health Organization, I cannot stop that my heart is broken. I'll tell my son Paul that you have a bad temper so he is not shocked when we all meet tomorrow. Excited? Patricia. P.S. I have no reason to request your credit card information. I already possess it. It is a Discover, number 6011. Patricia, I have decided to return the favor and stalk you in turn. There were many good discoveries I made, such as the public access baking show you had in the 80s, and the line of genuine crocodile skin purses you produce. But perhaps the most shocking of these discoveries was that you literally died eight years ago. Please find someone else to terrorize, you absolute troll. Or should I say ghost? Relieved, Jackson. Mm-hmm. <laughs>